guys and welcome back to my channel so those of you that are regulars to my channel and saw my video yesterday will know that I did say that I would try and come on today and do a um, mini happy planner spread and I may or may not do two because I may or may not do the monthly spread as well which is why well, you've got extra bits up there um, using the leftovers and the deco sheet um, to a full kit which is this gorgeous magic themed kit from the mix match planner now if you go and check out my instagram page which is losmuck11 i th believe there's a link in my link tree below but i'll, I'll put the information up the tag up anyway you'll be able to see this video um this kit in full layout in my happy planner um, but yeah like I said yesterday in my videos I don't use these sheets in my happy planner sometimes I'll use the flags just maybe to fill in on a Sunday but generally I don't so I just thought I'd show you how I reuse the leftovers and this deco sheet as a weekly spread so we'll just move out those bits out of the way again these are leftovers bits of deco that I use to decorate the monthly in my mini spread just because I found it was easier and more cost effective. So literally all I do is I use a gel pen just because it stands out a little bit more in the hope that it stands out on this darker colour which it does. And I'm just going to go through now and just write the days on. Which let's be fair I could have done before filming but it just shows you that they're just blank general headers that I use that are within the theme of the kit that I'm using up just kind of ties everything in sometimes if I don't have enough of this left over because for whatever reason I have used it elsewhere which is very very rare then um, I may pull in headers from elsewhere or in a bit of the kids scale electrics ended up on my trolley how lovely of them so literally I'm just gonna now I've written the days on you can't really see very well you guys I'm sure on the camera but I have written Monday on this um, and it does stand out a bit better when you're staring straight at it but I can't imagine it stands out overly well from a distance obviously if I do have um, day covers left over which is very very rare um, or I happen to have some day covers I've acquired as a sampler or um, as part of a mini kit sometimes I actually do, will buy a, a mini happy planner kit um, and I did religiously when I first got this and then just found I had so much leftover kit and one day I'd, I think I'd actually run out of happy planner mini kits and thought well surely I can piece together a decent layout I don't fill the voids because obviously this one I, I do almost journal in if you like um, so why not try and use up some of my leftovers and it worked perfectly I was very happy with the spread and I've kind of done that ever since as and where I can because it just makes more economical sense on a cost effective basis um, especially if you know you have to plan on a budget because let's face it doing a full kit every week in your planners um, is expensive um, obviously price does vary on where you get your kit from but then so does quality so you know and although Happy Planner, basic Happy Planner kits are relatively cheap, they're only a couple of quid each. 
rather than waste all this leftover kit, it's rather nice to not, if, if you get my meaning. So for the notes one, I don't generally use these. I'll use one of the skinnier ones, and I really like this purple, so I'm going to use this. Just to tie it in so it's all matchy-matchy. Um, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you don't even have to cover up like I have with headers and write the days on if you don't want to. But I just thought this was a really nice way of showing you guys what I do now. I don't generally use kits. I use these. So, regards to full boxes on these. These are left over. And this is actually a bit of washy I cut off because I did a whole length on a Sunday which took the whole thing down to the bottom so I didn't actually need to take the wash all the way across so I just thought it'd be really nice just to use it up so all I do is just randomly place these I don't put them in any specific place any specific order I used to I used to be quite sort of religious about how I did it I don't anymore. It's the same as I always, always used washi across the bottom of my days, and I rarely, rarely do that now because I found some days I had too much space to write. Yes, so having the washi there was fine, but then I found other days I didn't have enough space to write, and I figured I would rather have leftover space than not enough space. So I just started opening up the boxes more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this down slightly to match the size of the other boxes. So we're just going to... Gel pen is not going to write on the back of the sticky. The generic biro wheel. So it's just a bit of a mark. I'm just going to grab my scissors. It's so handy having another trolley because I can literally put the trolley right next to where I'm filming. And in the event I have forgotten anything, i.e. Like, like the scissors, I can just reach over and grab. Now, theoretically, it's going to be a little bit shorter as well. So obviously, it was intended as a bottom washi, but it's not that much shorter and it just allows me to space things out so as you see I grabbed a few extra things now those that watched yesterday will have noticed that's all right I'm looking for a, a to do but there isn't one so I'm going to use it this week um, that I made the decision um, in my happy planner to stop putting in the habit trackers that I used to put in for a condition, monitoring a condition my son had. I'm just going to pop through while I remember to put my date dots on um, and pop them on. Um, Thinking about it today and, and looking at how I, I how I, I use this planner and whatnot, um, figured that it would be kind of nice to um, monitor other things for the children. Um, so. Um, those of you that are regulars on my channel will know that my children are special needs and they're both completely different children, they're completely different personalities. They have completely different mannerisms from each other, completely different ways of doing things. It, it's phenomenal how different they are. Um, and It would be kind of nice to have a habit tracker in a planner for one, for monitoring um, his hygiene, and the other one, who I don't, I've got one that avoids 
isn't too keen on baths because he doesn't like getting his head wet. I've got one that isn't too keen on... Um, sorry, I'm just pushing stickers out the sun before the sun damages them. Because I tend to find they curl if they're left in direct sun. Whoops! Sorry. <laughs> Meet my jumbos. Um, so like this stacked up hazardly on top of my TM, which is just tucked underneath the camera. Um, and then I have one that doesn't sleep properly, so I thought it would be quite nice maybe to put some habit trackers in here for sleep patterns and for just general hygiene for one of them. So we'll see. So I normally put a to-do list here saying this week um, or today, and I don't always use the space. Um, because usually I've put it in my happy planner which is my home planner and that's my planner to tell me what I'm doing for for them every day so all I do at this point now is I just use mainly these big ones and just put a flag down the edge of each box that I haven't put anything in and the reason I like using these big wide ones is because they're usually really really decorative but as you can see, these have all clearly got quite a lot of colouration on them. So obviously I will go through and pick out the ones that are main pictures. So like obviously she's holding the crystal ball on this one. That was the stars and moons dangly on that one. Um, there's one of the astrological sun. And then one of her holding crystals. Which works out quite nicely. It's the amount of space that I've got to use up. So yeah, I've uh, having made the conscious decision to remove the habit tracker from my home planner, my family planner if you like, um, thought I might transfer and monitor things in this planner for the children. This is my record of how their days have gone, whether there's been any major incidences, so on and so forth. So I thought it'd be quite nice to see if I could fit two habit trackers in there. Hence, I was quite happy to change to the this, this week. And obviously, I know what I'm tracking for each child. So I can just pop their names and ticks as normal. And I also thought it was a really nice way of using up the habit trackers. So as you can see, I've got a little bit gap at the bottom. But that's okay, because I can always fill that with a little bit of, de of deco. And I get my words out. So as you can see, really, really simply decorated. But I do want to use some of the deco. Now, the girl's quite prominent anyway, so I might not use the girl ones. But I do quite like the idea of... Sort of the owl maybe presiding in the corner by Monday. I quite like that idea. And he fits there just perfect. Um, so I'm going to bring the sun in and pop it just there so there's <coughs> oh excuse me not any sort of specific logic or reasoning behind my placements of deco just try and decide I don't want to cover up the word magic do I of where I place my deco, I just breaks it up a little bit. And I quite like using these sort of round swirly ones because they just simplify everything quite nicely. Um, So that's going to go cover. Hmm. Thing is, I don't want it next to that, do I? So that's a bit annoying. What I might do then is swap it with this one. If it'll come back up, which it does just nicely. And I'm going to pop the hands there at the bottom of that flag. And I'm going to use that one there just like so and to be honest with you I don't now me personally I'm happy with that there's a splash of color there it's you know it, it's broken up 
but there's still plenty of room to write and make notes. So I'm just going to use a bit of this washi tab sort of stuff just to kind of almost look like I've sealed that in with washi and that's pretty much what I do for my happy planner so some of those obviously the date dots and whatnot I will use in other planners and on other spreads and I could just use them as simple deco um, elsewhere but this is pretty much what I do so as I've used black ink everywhere else I'm just going to pop the word Reese which is my eldest and Luca which is my youngest and I know what they're going to be used for so I don't need to write next to them what they're for um, and that is pretty much it so very sweet very short little video um, I just thought I would show you briefly what I do um, and then I'll quickly talk you through what I plan to do with my monthly so I've got recently in a happy mail um, I received these gorgeous halo phalo halo phalo <laughs> halo foiled date dots um, they are celebration birthday hats um, it was part of a mystery bag for little pencil designs um, I can actually show you that actually quickly but basically I'm going to use these date dots because they're absolutely stunning and why not um, and then I thought well being a planner girl again this is using leftovers and making the most of it I've got these gorgeous bits of leftover. Obviously, I'm not going to use the full box because it would take up. But these um, and these bits of deco here and possibly the weekend banner. Um, just to basically fill in the gaps because obviously this is going to be June. And obviously June doesn't start to the Saturday. So I'm going to have all this here is free space so I'll use the big bits of deco just to fill in that free space and then I'll put random little bits scattered throughout the month um, so the first two bits of deco I showed you were from Fab Planner Print um, from a kit called Planner Girl and then these are leftover deco from Mac and Grey Designs kit which was called Goal Getter but as you can see it's all planner related study related so I thought it kind of went quite well together and the pinks match quite well so that's what I'll be doing later on um, so back to my little happy mail haul that I received yesterday um, obviously I got these gorgeous halo dots um, I also got this little mini kit so on here you've got some today headers, a habit tracker, a couple of freestanding checklists, um, half box, some washi, two full boxes and two quarter boxes and obviously the weekend. I absolutely love a sticker paper, I have no idea where she gets it from but it's so smooth and lovely. Um, then I got this whole sheet, again sticking to the theme of the birthday, it was her anniversary or was it her birthday, I can't remember but it was a birthday themed mystery bag. Um, so I've got the quarter boxes which are absolutely uh, gorgeous and then I've got these checklists again themed with the happy birthday at the bottom um, what else did I get I also got a little bag that came with a little thank you note for celebrating Flump's birth yay um, and in that bag was these look gorgeous this, this is the character Flump she was talking about and how gorgeous is he has obviously having a duvet day and then this is a character she's had for a little while a little penguin who's absolutely adorable and then obviously they're both in birthday theme now as you can see these are glossy these die cuts they are also stickers die cut stickers which I think is fabulous 
because it just makes sticking your die cuts down so much easier when they're adhesive. <laughs> um, I also got a little bag of Haribo. Um, this gorgeous, I'm not going to take it out of the pot of thing, but this gorgeous um, postcard, which is foiled with rose gold. It's time to take time to relax with Flump relaxing in a teacup. And then a birthday card featuring him as well. Um, I got a little badge featuring Flump, which I put away, which I'm just going to grab. How gorgeous is that? And just this aeroplane mode. <laughs> Basically, you shut down from the world, and I love that idea. Um, what else? Oh, this gorgeous um, paper clip, which I'm almost certain came from my unicorn planner as a gift for her birthday mystery bags. Um, I don't know how well it shows up, but that is actually iridescent halo effect over the top of that pink. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and this bag is just adorable. It's a little Japanese themed bag that it came in. It's really, really cute and can be used for other things. And I got a little goodie bag as well, which I haven't got to hand. So, short of waffling on anymore, I hope you enjoyed that little um, plan with me. And I hope it gives you some inspiration on what to do with your leftovers. Um, as for me, I will catch you later. Um, and I will see you next week on my next video. Take care, my lovelies. Bye.